In today's video, let's learn how to simulate an audiogram in our designs in Canva. Be it for a podcast, a presentation, or any other type of design, this can add a really fun element. So let's try it out. We'll begin by opening a blank presentation page on Canva. Then let's go over to Elements and first look for a background video that we want. So let's type in something like a rock concert. Let's go down to Videos. And let's choose the type of file we want to use. So the file I've chosen is a pro version file, but I'm sure you can find a lot of free options as well. So once it's on our slide, let's expand it to fill the entire slide. Then let's look for a mock-up of a phone frame. And under frames, we'll find a lot of different phones. So let's try any of these. Let's enlarge it on a slide. Then let's select our video and copy paste it and drag it onto our frame. Let's double click the frame and then Expand it to match our background video. There we go. Let's take a look at it in full screen and see if that works. It's slightly out of sync with the background, but that adds to that lens effect that you might see if you're looking at a concert through a phone. So it works for now. Once we're happy with the placement of both the videos, I'll select the background video. I'll go to edit video, adjust, and I'll decrease its brightness. Just so there's a strong contrast between the phone video and the background video. Now it's time to look for our audio waves. So in elements, go to search and search for audio wave. Go to graphics and under the filters look for animated so a whole bunch of animated audio waves shows up again with the little crown you see some would be pro and some would be free so for this video i'll choose a free audio wave and i'll adjust it on the phone screen Then I'll add a little bit of text. So just go down to your text, add a heading. Let's change it to white. And of course, depending on your design, you can also change the font. I'll leave it as is for now. So let's add a little heading. Then let's grab the audio wave we made, let's copy paste it and with this little handle let's flip it upside down till it shows minus 180 and let's take it below our text. Now let's look at it in full screen once. And that looks pretty cool but I'm going to make the background video even darker. Let's go back to edit video and decrease the brightness even further. Next, I'll add some text on the left side. So you could select any pre-made text box over here. Just click on it and it will appear on your slide. Let's ungroup it and change the text within this.
Once you have your text ready, let's go over to animate. Let's find pan. And let's decrease the speed. So it comes in really slowly. Having done this, your design is ready for audio. Now depending on the type of design you're working for, you can upload your pre-created audio and then save this as a video. For now, I'll go to elements and I'll search for some rock music. And under audio, I'll just add one of these tracks. As you see, the track appears below and I can click on Beat Sync and make sure that this is turned on so the track automatically syncs to the video. Let's check it out in full screen with our audio added. And that looks and sounds pretty cool. Once you've got your audio and video synced up, then all you need to do is go to share, go to download and select MP4. And there you have it folks, a quick and easy way to add an audiogram to your Canva design. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.